There is a horde of mosquitoes out here. I'm being Christmas week. Ah, I will uh, have to count that among my many blessings. Whew. Welcome to Mustang Island State Park here just outside of Corpus Christi, Texas. Yes, we finally made it to Texas. <laughs> Sorry for our prolonged absence, but uh, what better place for an update, huh? I thought I'd uh, drop this here and let you know what we've been up to for the past oh, week or so and what's going on here in the near future and what we've got going on for Christmas time. Uh, where we left, last left off was in Mississippi. We were at a national park campground called Clear Springs, which was a lot of fun. Uh, in fact, that Tuesday, Sandy filmed a little bit while I was editing our last video, uh, and that should be up now for you to watch. Um, we left the Clear Spring, Spring Campground with a, uh, with a big windstorm coming through. There was apparently tornado activity and everything. We took off out of there and made it to St. Francisville, Louisiana, uh, where we stayed at a lovely harvest host location called the Myrtles. It's an old plantation house uh, turned B&B, &B, and they've got cabins and a cute little coffee shop where we just had to stop in and enjoy a cappuccino uh, with an extra shot, of course. Uh, and we tucked in for the night. They were forecasting four inches of rain that night. And uh, I don't know if you've been through lower Louisiana, but four inches of rain can get ugly real fast. Um, luckily, that system split up and went around us uh, both ways, which was good. Um, so that Wednesday, the 14th, um, it did rain all morning, so we stayed cooped up in the van. We did some work on a, uh, on a few new things we've got going on, um, uh, and maybe a new contract. I'll fill you in a little bit more on that later in the video. Um, and we slept the night at a Bass Pro Shops there in uh, just outside of St. Francisville. The next day, uh, the sun came out a little bit, and it was, it was actually pretty nice. We went out to Tickfaw State Park. I think I'm saying that right, in Louisiana. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty big park down at the end of uh, what seemed like some, you know, not so nice roads, but, uh, but it's got a lot of infrastructure, and although they had a lot of damage a few years ago uh, from the storms to their boardwalk trails and their buildings, so a lot of the walking trails are closed, but it was still a really nice state park, and it was a nice place to do some, to do some work. I prep cooked a bunch more burgers for us, which is our primary food group, I guess. Uh, and we had a meeting there uh, with uh, Scott from Go Small Live Large that had something to do with something that's coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned until later in the video for that announcement too. Um, and then Friday, the 16th, we went into town for some important shopping. The cat was out of food, or almost out of food, and he always makes sure to let us know when he can see the bottom of his bowl, he starts freaking out. Uh, so we drove into downtown Baton Rouge that night, uh, where we found uh, some street parking which we don't do very often, but it's a good fun sometimes. We found a nice little quiet street that allows overnight parking, uh, pulled up uh, close to the curb and, and blacked out. And we got to stay there for the night in downtown Baton Rouge. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. Right across the street, there was a, a cover band playing at a wedding. So we got some live music with horns and all that. It's kind of a neat Baton Rouge experience. Uh, and we woke up in downtown Baton Rouge on the 17th. Well, we find ourselves parked, and by find ourselves, I mean we woke up in downtown Baton Rouge this morning. So that's weird. <laughs> uh, we got to visit the, the very ostentatious Capitol building of Louisiana, uh, built in the 30s, which, I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's the tallest Capitol building in the, in the country. Uh, but the cold and the clouds were getting to us, so we headed out to the Atchafalaya Swamp, the Atchafalaya. Um, which was really cool. The visitor center there allows you to overnight. It's a National Parks Visitor Center. Uh, they've got a nice parking lot there, and it is right underneath I-10, so there's some road noise, uh, but they do allow you to overnight. And there was a really cute visitor center with the animatronic uh, snapping turtles and a uh, little heron that talks to you, guides you through a little introductory movie, tells you about the area. So we got comfortable there and, and played a game of Wingspan, our new favorite board game. Uh, had a good time there. On Sunday the 18th, we crossed the swamp and stopped in Henderson uh, to have a lunch of some really good Cajun food at a restaurant that we heard about in uh, one of our favorite road trip books. It's called Blue Highways. Uh, I 
If you like to read, definitely check that out. It's by William Least Heat Moon. And when he took his road trip through Louisiana, he stopped at Pat's in Henderson. And it's a famous old restaurant. The guy that started it, I think back in the 40s, uh, was well known. I think he ended up being the mayor of the town. But we had some excellent Cajun food. Sandy had a, a blackened redfish that was topped with crawfish etouffee. And I had a sampler platter of a, of a bunch of other really good Cajun crawfish dishes, uh, etouffee and boulette and uh, oh goodness, I, it, was a, it was a big plate. We had fried crawfish and everything. It was just delicious. The swamps and bayous in Louisiana are one of the places that we'd love to, uh, to come back and spend a little more time in a little better weather. There's just something about it that I, I get calls to me, I guess that swamp, that down home kind of feeling. I really love it. Um, our overnight there was, in fact, was a, um, a harvest host called Vermilionville. And it's a sort of historical village where they're preserving some, some historical buildings from the area uh, and some artifacts and, of course, traditions, too. They've got a performance hall. We got to see some, we got to see some Zydeco music with the washboard and the accordion. I found a donkey! <laughs> Why do donkeys like me so much? That's the real question. <laughs> Fancy ride across Le Petit Bayou. Monday the 19th, we made the push to cross the border. We stopped in Beaumont to let yet another squall of rain come through. We were driving right into the teeth of it. Uh, when we did get a peak of sunshine, we got to stop out at a beautiful cattail marsh they have there in Beaumont. Um, it's a water reclamation site, and there are tons of waterfowl. I got to mark a few new birds on my life list. Cinnamon teal uh, was one of the special ones. We ended up spending two nights at Cracker Barrel in Beaumont. Uh, gotta love Cracker Barrel. And on the 21st, um, which was Wednesday, uh, with the warning of this cold snap coming through, we snagged two nights here on Mustang Island State Park. Um, it's, a, it's a simple facility. The sites are, you know, relatively close together and there's no trees or shade or anything being out here on the barrier island and, and in this part of Texas that means no trees, uh, marshy areas. Uh, so it's kind of a parking lot in the middle of the island with, you know, you've got your area with a picnic table and uh, a shade canopy and your hookups, water and electric. And it's, it's nice, you know, you're, you're close together, but it's, uh, it's a great location, really interesting location and access to the beach too, uh, obviously. To be out here you know, this close to the water, it's, it's pretty darn cool. We got settled uh, last night and hung out with Scott um, at the Go Small Live Large is his YouTube channel uh, for his live Wednesday night show called What's Up Wednesday, where he talks about RV tips and tricks and uh, news from the industry. And uh, we had a really good time there. He was decorating his van and he announced us as his guest hosts for next week. So if you're around December 28th, uh, that's next Wednesday, if you're watching this live, you can catch us on his channel. Again, that's Go Small, Live Large. And I'll have a link in the description, of course. But if you're watching this later, you can always go uh, to watch the replay there, too. Uh, you'll find another Q&A that we did with him a while back. We just love his videos. And, and he's how we got interested in, in our van, the Travato, and van life in general. And we just love the community he's building over there. There's a lot of great people. So come and join us. Um, anyway, that cold snap is coming through tonight. That's, this is Thursday, December 22nd. And out here, the temps are going to stay around 25 for tonight. It's nothing we haven't done before, but you can tell the, uh, the staff here and the locals are a little nervous. Everybody's bundling up and wrapping their uh, sewage hoses and battening down the hatches, I guess. Uh, it's going to be pretty windy, but I think we'll get through it all right. They sent out a uh, flyer with uh, freeze precautions, asking everybody to let their faucets drip and all that sort of stuff. And then tomorrow, uh, we're going to get up early and we're going to head out to town, grab a couple things, and then we're moving on to another Texas state park that's Goose Island. Goose Island State Park, where we'll be hanging out for Christmas. We, we like to have a quiet day uh, on Christmas if Sandy's not working. In fact, she actually prefers to work the holidays because with van life, it's not really very much fun to be out and about when everything's either shut down for Christmas or packed with people out celebrating. Um, so I think we'll have some fun. Our site over there looks like it's, it's right on the water, right next to their huge fishing pier. I can't wait to show you guys all around there. 
sorry again for the absence. You know, life got a little interesting with her contract being canceled. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. That's another thing. She also has lined up another job in San Antonio. Uh, so here in Texas, we'll be exploring this area for at least another three months. We're, we'll be in San Antonio proper, whereas the last contract was going to be in New Braunfels. Um, but we'll be making videos from here at least until April, uh, as well as releasing some footage of of the cool stuff we've been up to for the last two years that we just haven't gotten around to making videos about yet. That should about catch us up. You know, Vlogmas was always supposed to be a, a challenge and making any kind of a video every day sure is. We might do some vlogs from time to time, but um, we definitely don't intend to go daily for the long term. The kind of videos I love to make uh, take a little bit longer than that. I've really loved sharing and connecting with you guys over these uh, over these adventures and I hope that you subscribe and that you continue to leave me awesome questions and awesome comments uh, and maybe even hit the like button from time to time. Uh, we'll be back from Goose Island very soon. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a catch up. If you've been to any of these places I've mentioned or uh, had any experiences or suggestions for where we are now, which is currently the Corpus Christi area and then up towards San Antonio for the beginning of the year, drop them down in the comments and let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, I hope you'll join us from Goose Island here soon. Have a good night. I'm going to soak up as much of this sunshine as I can before the wind starts bringing in that cold weather. Temperature's dropping.